Hey viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, in the garage today, got a 2012 Chrysler 300. It's got the 3.6. It's got 148,000 on her. And uh, today, it's in here today because I've got to put a new uh, serpentine belt and the front struts just maybe kind of, sort of, maybe in a way need to be replaced and I'll show you what I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. yeah I think they're just a little bit worn anyway we're gonna replace the struts and then I'm gonna throw a serpentine belt on here uh, probably not gonna video the serpentine belt that's on these it's pretty basic everything's right there easy to get to but I'm just gonna go ahead and make the video here on the uh, struts so anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to take you with me. Hey, viewers. All right, we're going to pop in this cap off. And these three top nuts are 13 millimeter. We're just going to back them up. Just enough to where they're still threaded on there somewhat. You don't want to take them off all the way because then the strut's going to fall down as soon as you lift up the vehicle. All right, now we're going to lift her up. Checker. <clears throat> She's good. Try her right here. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take off the wheel. Hey, viewers. Hey, whenever I do struts, I always like to put an angle finder on the rotor. So that way, when I go to put the new one on, it helps me. You see, it's 0 0.6. That way, when I go to put everything back together, uh, I can get that camber right where it was when it came in here. Because there's nothing wrong with the alignment. It's not, tires aren't wearing weird or anything like that. So I just try to always do that so that way I can help get the alignment back to the best that it was so it's not all off real bad and they got to go and spend another $70 or so to get an alignment. But anyway, so next we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go ahead and get this sway bar link off. All right, I'm going to try to get you in there as best I can without getting the Getting in the way of the impact here. Yeah, of course. It's gonna, it's gonna spin. Uh, just for your reference, this nut is a 21 millimeter. All right, well, I was afraid that was gonna happen, so right, I'm gonna. Go ahead and hit a wrench on here and a wrench on there and uh, take her off that way, I guess, because this 
sway bar link is just spinning inside there, and I had a feeling that's oh, I had a feeling that's what was going to happen. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all that. Uh, so, but anyway, when I get back, or whenever I get that off, I'll I'll come back. Hey viewers, after 45 minutes of fighting with that stinking sway bar link, I decided to just go ahead and cut her off. Work on to taking this bolt out here. And then on the other side, it's got a nut. And that's nut, 24 millimeter. <clears throat> Put that bolt down there, it's an 18. So, I'm going to hit that with the impact and get that off, and I'll be right back. Hey, I steered you wrong, viewers. It's just a bolt. Right on the other side of the strut, it was welded onto the strut. So, all it was was this little bolt here. All right, I loosened the top nuts earlier, so all I got to do is just take them out just the rest of the way. And then pull this whole strut assembly out. Hey viewers, now that I completely disconnected those nuts at the top and got the bolt out of the bottom here. Now the next thing I have to do is kind of take this nut off of this uh, upper ball joint. And this whole knuckle is going to have to drop in order to get uh this strut out so i'm gonna do that real quick and i'll be right back hey viewers all right i got her out i just had to disconnect the uh wheel speed sensor from this clip here because i needed a little bit of play on that uh because when i take this nut out off this upper ball joint <clears throat> excuse me uh this whole spindle drops so uh, I think on the other side, I'm going to use my, <clears throat> might be able to get a, might be able to get my jack underneath there. Might not. But anyway, I just, uh, supported this with my stomach when it dropped. And then I just pushed up on this upper control arm. And then I was able to, pull that strut out. So it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. There she is there, that's the old one. And that's the new one here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get her put back in. Hey viewers, all right, I got everything back in, got that bolt back in. And oh yeah, and by the way, this nut, this new nut was a 21 millimeter. So you can see I got the sway bar link put in got the grease fittings put on them I'm gonna grease them here in just a moment uh, got the upper control arm nut back on and then for the struts I went ahead and I just started those nuts and I'll finish them off torque them down whenever uh, I get the vehicle back on the ground anyway uh, I think I'm gonna end it for this video uh, I know it wasn't really detailed or anything, but I'm just kind of jumping around with different things and trying to work on this too. So, but anyway, uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm not going to record it. And then I'm going to slap the belt on this thing and then uh, ship her out because I've got a uh, little ATV over here in the other bay i got to work on. i got to put a carburetor on it. came in the mail today, so I just got to slap it on there. So, but anyway, uh, Hope this video was helpful to somebody um, and again i always appreciate you watching my videos and once again thanks for watching hey viewers all right we got both struts on so let's check it out perfect whole lot better Look at that. Perfect. No noise. Doesn't bounce 10,000 times. It's perfect.